Good morning, engineering students. I hope that your day is off to a great start. Uh, so if you're just looking for something to do and you're wanting to get a little bit of practice with Onshape, um, make sure you go over there and make an account. It's onshape.com slash edu. That way you can set up a free account <clears throat> and it's all free for educational institutions like, like ourselves. Um, so um, I have created a couple of folders. So you can hit that create button, choose folder and give it a name. Um, so I've got one folder called practice because yeah, I need some practice with this new 3D modeling software. Uh, I've also made a folder called reverse engineering. That's actually uh, part of what we're going to be working on the next couple of weeks. Um, so in my practice folder, I'm going to create a new document. So that's what they call all of their like part files. <clears throat> and I'm going to call this two way lettering. So I got this idea and instructions from Koi. Corey Dusen uh, on YouTube, uh, he's got some cool stuff. So this two-way lettering, I'm gonna create a, a letter and then it's gonna look like one letter from one direction. Then when we spin it and flip it, um, it'll look like another letter. So here we are in our, um, we have our three planes, the front right and the top plane, uh, giving us the idea of, well, which side of the object do we wanna look at it from? Uh, so on the um, front, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I am using a mouse. So when I say left click and right click, um, then you'll be talking about single clicks or a two finger click. I'm not 100% sure about the Chromebooks. I'm, I'm really only familiar with my own Mac. Uh, so I am going to right click on there and that's where it creates all these options for new sketch, offset plane, that kind of thing. But <clears throat> you can find all these things up here as well. Uh, here's the sketch button. Um, and in fact, if you hit shift S, uh, you can create a new sketch as well. So you've got options just like with inventor, there are multiple ways to do things. So the, the part that's different is that, yep, we're on the front plane, but it hasn't adjusted how we, how we see it. Um, so I'm going to hit front on the view cube so that I can start building since I know I'm on the front plane. In fact, it says it right here. I need to be on the front plane. Okay. So I am going to create some text here and I don't really care how big it is but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my first letter in there, K, and checkbox. And so here's where you can resize it or give it a dimension. So this is your dimensioning uh, button up here. Granted, I also hit D and it gave me the same thing. You can click on it. This is 2.4 2 inches tall and it is about 2.2 inches wide. Now, granted, that is from left to right, it's not the actual width of the K. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind, but I'm going to go ahead and check mark, check mark that change my view here so I can see it. It's right there. I, um, I don't have a good way of rotating this just yet. So I'm still using the view cube anytime I want to try to rotate. Um, Hey, if you find it, uh, let me know, let me know in the comments, that kind of thing. Um, so here we are. And to extrude that K, we have the extrude button up here. Also shift E will take care of it. So click on the K profile. I'm going to go ahead and extrude that uh, two inches instead. Hit enter twice. You can also hit that green check mark box. And so here is my K. So obviously from the front looks like a K from the side, uh, the back, you know, it's got obviously the, the different looks to it. So spin that around to create the two way lettering. Uh, we either need to create a plane right on the edge of the K here or on the far left. So I'm going to spin this thing around and right on this face, I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch, uh, new sketch on there. And again, I'm on the face of the extrusion. So just kind of um, aligning myself there and I'm going to create another text box and I'm going to make it the same size. There we go. And this time I'm going to do the letter A. Now, granted, <clears throat> the letter A is symmetric um, horizontally. It's got a um, line of symmetry right in the middle. Uh, so if you have different letters, they're going to look a little bit different from side to side, but I'm going to put an A in there. Um, it matches the size. Obviously, it's sticking out a little bit on the end. So you can change the size, not now, but hopefully later. Uh, so let's see if we can change that size. Nope. Um, I don't know if we can mention it, but it obviously had some sort of error, did not generate properly. Um, I'm going to ignore that and see what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude again and 
choose that A shape that's been chosen for me. And so it looks like it's going to extrude just fine. But instead of adding material, I'm going to go up here and click intersect, intersect. And it's going to intersect, and I want it to go all the way through this K. So you can actually take this arrow and drag it so that I can see when it reaches all the way through. So that was almost two inches. And I'm going to hit the check box here. So from the front, this thing still looks like a K. From this angle, you can kind of see like, oh, things are, things are getting weird. Uh, from the right, it looks just like an A. So when you kind of see it from the isometric view, you can see how it's adjusted it. Now, granted, also from the left side, it looks like an A as well. Again, that's, it's not backwards because the A is symmetric. So different letters, it's going to look differently. Um, if we look at the back, obviously that's a backwards K. Um, and so it's just kind of a fun, <clears throat> fun thing to tinker with. Um, try different letters, try different initials, try um, more than one letter and see, see what comes up. But it's just kind of a nice way to get a little bit of um, practice just with the different features on Onshape and just kind of how it works. Uh, you still have things like loft, you still have things like sweep, um, revolving things, you have your fillets, you have chamfers. Um, I don't know what draft is, but maybe you find out. A draft angle. Okay. Um, you still have the shell feature. You still have holes and things like that. Um, patterns. Yep. Mirrors. Yep. And you still have some drop downs. So if you want a circular pattern, you've got that option as well. So there are all kinds of things up here. Keep exploring. Keep learning. Um, I have learned something new every single day. Uh, whether it's with technology or video or whatever. Um, so keep learning no matter what it is. Do something that you enjoy. Take care of yourself. Find rest. Find peace. Um, I'm here for you. So reach out if you need anything. And I don't know, maybe hopefully find something that, that gives you a little joy and that you have a little fun with. All right. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.